an expensive new CPU, expensive new DDR5 memory, and an expensive new AM5 motherboard. No wonder the adoption of Ryzen 7000 hasn't been as fast as AMD has hoped for. But what if I told you that there has been a solution all along? Issue is that literally no one, not even I, have heard of it. Because yes, over the past few months, the very first few AMD A620 motherboards have been released by various manufacturers. And this brand new ultra cheap AM5 based chipset is going to make building a Ryzen 7000 PC that much easier seeing how dirt cheap they are. But what exactly will you be missing out on if you decide to go with one of these ultra budget entry level AMD motherboards? Well PC Gen 5 support for start, which let's be honest, literally no one cares about. Yeah that's right, with A620 you get neither graphics card nor storage PC Gen 5 support. Which I mean seeing how PC Gen 5 graphics cards aren't out yet and PC Gen 5 storage is only just becoming available and let's be honest, literally no one needs storage that fast, I don't think that's something that too many people will be missing out on and it's a great way to cut down the overall cost of a motherboard. I mean hey, I'm one of the biggest tech nerds you can find and I still haven't made any use of PC Gen 5 on my overpriced motherboard so there. Don't worry, your time will come PC. On top of that, you also get less overall PCE lanes, though seeing how this is a motherboard intended for the most budget constrained PCs, I don't think too many people who are buying A620 boards in the first place are going to be using a lot of those PCE lanes. Though there is one very major thing that could impact these ultra budget users, and that is the lack of any kind of overclocking support. Now you could probably hack your way into reintroducing that support, but there is no official way of doing it from AMD or their partners. However, what is very odd is that even though CPU overclocking is impossible, memory overclocking is, even though that's the thing that Ryzen 7000 has been having the biggest issues with so far, even on the most high-end X670 mobiles. So if you want more info about that, make sure to check out my video on the topic. I mean, just look at that thumbnail. Don't you just want to click it, find out what it's about? Now as you can imagine, IO support has also been greatly reduced on the A620 with no support whatsoever for 20 gigabit per second USB. Which is a pretty big shame though, once again, corners have to be cut in order to make these boards as affordable as they are. And of course you also have less support for slower 10 and 5 gigabit USB as well. So in the grand scale of things, sure, there is quite a few compromises, but again, these are the cheapest of the cheap motherboards you can get right now for the AM5 platform. And these are great if you just want to build a cheap and reliable Ryzen 7000 based PC. Or you could just save a lot more money by just going last gen, which is extremely cheap now, but I don't know, you do you. But still, is it just me or have these motherboards just come out of nowhere? There was like no big press reveals, no nothing, it just was unexpected like... like that uh, thunderstorm that's going on outside my house right now, so uh... I better hurry up. So if you want to buy one of these mobile boards, then our Amazon links to them are going to be down in the video description below. And whilst they're here, maybe we should check out our Patreon. Because just like A620 boards, it's also a pretty good value, seeing how even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan Oki B, Justin Rage, Elavroniak, Paul Shvoka, Meg Sumner, Shane Ulcroft, Lansby, and Level Up. Down there, you're going to find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's it. It's I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.